Let's see how to divide decimals. First example, 14.8 divided by 2. So we're seeing how many 2s are there in 14.8. OK. So 2s into 14 go 7. So put 7 in the answer. There's no remainders. So we don't have to worry about the remainder. We've reached the point. So we put the point in the answer. 2 is into 8, go 4. So 14.8 divided by 2 is 7.4. Dividing by 2 is just halving it, isn't it? And half of 14.8 is 7.4. Let's try another one. 14, point, 14 divided by 4. So we're working out how many 4s... In 14. So fours go into 12 three times. But that means we've got a remainder, haven't we? So we can add numbers after the point. We can call 14 14.0. And we've got a remainder of 2 because 4 threes are 12. 14 take away 12 gives us 2 left over. So now because we've reached the point, we put the point in the answer and we say how many 4s are there in 20? Well, that's 5. So 14 divided by 4 is 3.5 or 3.5. Now we're moving on to thinking about how to divide by a decimal. Here's the example 4 divide by 0 0.05. The thing to do when you're dividing by a decimal is to think of it like a fraction. So it's the same as 4 over 0 0.05. The 0 0.05 is the denominator. So what we've got to do is to try and get rid of the, the decimals to make it a bit easier for ourselves. So we can think of some equivalent fractions to this fraction. Let's multiply both the numbers by 10. So 4 times 10 is 40. If we multiply 0 0.05 by 10, the point moves along one place, so it becomes 0 0.5. OK, we've still got a decimal though, so let's do that again. If we multiply it again by 10, we'll get rid of the decimal completely. So 40 times 10 is 400. And 0.5 times 10 is 5. So what we found is that 4 divided by 0 0.05 is just the same as 400 divided by 5. So now we can do the division. 5's into 400. So 5's into 4 don't go. 5's into 40 go 8, 5's into 0 go 0. So we've found that 4 divided by 0 0.05 is 80. Notice that when you divide by a very small number, less than 1, the answer is now getting bigger, isn't it? Because we're finding how many small fractions fit into a whole number, so it's going to go in a lots, lots of times. So that's why 80 is a sensible answer in this case. A little boy thought he would try to empty his goldfish bowl with a spoon. His spoon held 0 0.025 litres, and the goldfish bowl held 2 litres. How many spoonfuls would he need to take? OK, so let's think of it again as an equivalent fraction. We've got two whole litres, which we're dividing by 0 0.025. Let's change the litres to millilitres. There are a thousand millilitres in a litre, aren't there? So two times a thousand would give us 2,000 millilitres. 
And if we multiply 0 0.025 by 1,000, the point will move three places along. So that gives us 25. So in millilitres, the goldfish bowl holds 2,000 millilitres and the spoon holds 25 millilitres. So we've made our sum a lot easier by getting rid of the decimal point. It's now how many 25s are there in 2,000? So 25s into 200 go 8, don't they? Because 4 25s are 100, so 8 25s are 200. We've still got 2 25s into 0, which is 0. So the little boy will need 80 spoonfuls to empty the goldfish bowl altogether.